what's the good word y'all dkb here so it's been no secret throughout this entire off season as we've been plugging in pieces to hopefully build a very competitive roster this year and uh maybe make the playoffs for the first time in over a decade uh we've done a significant amount of work from when joe douglas originally started things off to where we are now uh even in just this one off season alone we've either significantly at least on paper improved multiple areas or we've at least strengthened uh areas that already looked like they were going to get much better heading into the season uh such as wide receiver uh, right for rebuilds such as tight end uh, one position that didn't get as much love at least at the tackle spot uh, which was probably at this point when you take a look at the strategy um, intentional is tackle uh, if we were going to address it I feel like it would have came up during the you know ladder free agency portion uh, essentially where we're looking at right now um, Ika Mekwanu, you know, Charles Cross, the top three guys, uh, we were essentially, you know, if they didn't get picked, I didn't think it was a likely chance um, that that would occur. And we still did address it with Max Mitchell. Uh, however, everybody still believes the success in our season hinges on the fact that we need a insurance policy, a backup swing tackle, um, somebody that can come in and provide credible performances because... The fact is, Makai Becton and George Fant have not been healthy for full seasons throughout their entire career so far. So I think it's only fair that that is a major talking point for the fan base and I'm sure the coaching staff as well. And we've seen them poking around, you know, Riley Reef. There's been plenty of mentions and trade scenarios and stuff for plenty of others. And I do have another candidate um, that potentially would be one of the best solutions, but it's a big if because there's a lot of things that need to happen. Uh, and this is Jason Peters, formerly of the Eagles and then most recently playing with the Chicago Bears and when you just take a look at his career I mean I can throw a million and one numbers out there but the dude's been incredible uh you know seven time pro bowler I believe uh multiple first time all pros multiple second all pro teams um and you know even in the last five seasons keep in mind we're talking about a guy that's uh you know reaching 40 years old uh been in the league since 2004 his last five seasons arguably can stand up against the top seasons from any of our tackles. And, you know, we believe Makai Becton can be uh, transcendent, as Robert Sala put it. But, you know, it, it really legitimately doesn't get a whole lot better than Jason Peters, even moving into age 40. I mean, what he did with the Chicago Bears, considering the anomaly that was happening there. I mean, you know, the Jaguars. Uh, might have been the only team that you know visibly looked worse than them uh, and Justin Fields isn't in you know any better position to have generally a, a much more successful sophomore year so you know if we plug and play Jason Peters he's willing to take a backseat role he understands that he you know if he understands the history of uh, our two guys that are leading the way, most likely he will be seeing some significant time. And if not, you know, maybe it's about time he gives his body a chance um, to excel and, you know, only play 200, 250 snaps or less during the season. Um, that would be ideal for both candidates. But again, this may take a lot of work to make this happen. Um, but while he's not you know, already under contract with somebody else and we see him come off a phenomenal season with the player that's used to doing a lot of bootlegs, plays breaking down, having to run around and stuff, you know, it, it's almost an instant fit. The only drawbacks to me is that he has had a lot of uh, penalties in recent memory. Um, and then there's definitely been a little bit more of an uptick in sacks. But again, you got to take a look at what was around him in Chicago um, and then kind of seeing what transpired from him between injuries. Um, and then, of course, just kind of getting up there in age and what the offense was being asked to do, uh, which, uh, you know, required a lot more run uh, efficiency from him rather than passing scenarios. He potentially was getting gassed a lot more when I take a look at the snap breakdown. Um, but aside from that, I mean, I would absolutely love to see Jason Peters, uh, you know, lock up a contract to potentially be our new Morgan Moses for this roster. But I will leave it there. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. You know, is he too old? Does he still have enough juice uh, for what our offense will require from him? Uh, and do you see this as being a significant upgrade for somebody that potentially can even push uh, Makai Becton or George Fant? Obviously, he wouldn't be the tackle of the future, but, you know, somebody to bring legitimate competition. I'm looking forward to your guys' thoughts, and I'll catch you again. Peace.